Holly's Island Studios. Um, so I recorded a mail haul video a while ago, <laughs> a few days ago, and I went to edit it this morning and it's gone. Gone. I don't know where it went. I don't know how I lost it. All the footage is gone. So I've had to pull everything back out that I have already shown and was supposed to be done with and ready and I had separated all the postcards out and put them aside because I want to make a little postcard collection. I also pulled a few things out that I want to use in the Hannah Montana book. And so then I had to pull all the envelopes back out. Thankfully I've kept all, almost all the envelopes, all the pretty painted envelopes I've kept because uh, it's all gone and now I'm hoping that I can get these yeah these postcards back with the groups of mail that I already have it's very I'm very frustrated right now that I'm starting over basically trying to get this okay that goes over there um, everything that you've already seen before I can put aside this is so like uh, one of those days you know so I'm starting over hopefully I'll remember which postcards I've shown you already and which ones I haven't because yeah so I have postcards and happy mail and we're just gonna get started and hope that I don't make a complete bumbling mess of this because I had everything kept together like everything that came together went together stayed together in different stacks and then I thought it was done so I went ahead and organized it and like separated out so I had all of my happy mail stuff that included things to use in my journals in one place handy and then I had the postcards put away and I had some other stuff the the can painted stuff I had set aside to put into the Hannah Montana journal um, later so yeah, been one of those kind of days. So and it's Saturday morning. Well, it's almost lunchtime now. Um, my chair is squeaky. In case you can't hear it, my chair is squeaky. So um, it's Saturday. My husband went to work. There's not a whole lot going on. So you are getting the absolutely no makeup and dirty hair Claudia today because I haven't even gotten a shower yet. Because it's Saturday. So I can wait until the afternoon if I want to. I can if I want to. Who are you barking at, Molly? I watched my husband's gonna come home now because he only had half a day of work. Drinking my orange juice, and because somebody's gonna ask me what is that stuff in the green? Yeah, it's orange juice in a blue cup, so it looks gross, doesn't it? Okay, so let's um, just move onward and forward and see if we can get to this. So you're not going to get my original enthusiastic <laughs> responses to the amazing stuff that you guys sent me I'm so sorry but I keep trying to record these and I don't know why it just not it doesn't work for me I don't know why I'm failing so badly I have all the other footage of things that I've recorded just not my mail haul so here goes this one is from Mona in South Dakota she handmade me a postcard look at okay the bird cage is adorable do you see the cute little bird in the flower I love it. And a little bit of Zentangle around the edge. So cute. So cute. Thank you. And then the next one I have, I don't know if I've shown this. I don't think so. It's from Nikki. And she is from New Zealand. Ooh. New Zealand. It cost her $1.90 to send me a postcard. Eek. Or in whatever denomination New Zealand uses, but it's got a dollar sign, so... Um, this is a picture of her town, and I love this. It's so cute. I think the little houses all close together are so cute. Unlike the neighborhoods and the homes in my area, these don't have porches, like front doorsteps even. Like we usually have at least a three by three pad, like concrete pad, like little porch if nothing else, or a big porch. There are no porches and there's no fences between their houses. It's like you want your neighbors to come over. Who to thunk it, right? It's not like that where I live. We like fence everything off so you can't see me. It's crazy. Um, this one is a gorgeous photo of New York. Oh, I am dying over this. I love that it's black and white on top and color on bottom. This just blows me away. I'm sorry for the reflection. 
beautiful picture of New York. This is from Kay. Um, her call name is Art in the City, if you see her floating around on Facebook. But gorgeous, from New York. Um, Juliana, she's from New York. Hmm, there's a connection. Okay, these two come from, I want to go to Canada just to go to this place now. These two come from Barb in um, Ontario. And this is the Joseph Schneider House. I'm like not even in frame, am I? Ooh. Joseph Schneider House, which is a living museum. So that's cool. And you go inside, there are people acting out the period. I think this kind of stuff is the coolest. I want to go here, like really bad. I love this kind of stuff and these kind of museums. My husband, he likes them. And, and he likes them good enough, and he'll, he'll go a lot for me because I love them. So, he's so sweet. Okay, some of these I've already shown you. I'm having to flip through and try and remember which ones I've already shown you. So, bear with me. <laughs> that might be it. I know I showed a lot of postcards prior to this. So, okay, here's what I think you haven't seen yet. This is in Ohio. It's called the Y Bridge. This like is so cool and creeps me out at the same time. The idea of trying to cross a bridge that's Y shaped freaks me out. I don't know if I could. And this is from Kendra. Kendra Rabbit is her call name. Um, yeah, what does it say? Oh, oh, that Jane Grey was born here. At least it's, yeah, for being the birthplace of Jane Grey. And, oh, and the Underground Railroad, kind of cool. But it just kind of creeps me out. I would get lost. I think it's so cool, this Y bridge, but I would be terrified if I had to drive on it because I know I would get lost. That would be terrible. Okay, so this next one comes from Marie in Arizona. And she, <laughs> oh, this is horrible. This is the kind of thing that would happen to my car. Look at that cactus landed on that car. This cactus is said to have weighed 10,000 pounds. I hope nobody was in that car. Could you imagine 10,000 pounds of cactus laying down on your car? Not a happy thing. Not a good thing. That's kind of funny. Kind of funny. And then this last postcard, I think, that I have. Well, I have another one, but it, they, go with, they go with Happy Mail, so... This one is from Susan, my friend Susan on YouTube. I don't think she's on Facebook. Um, this, she, bleh, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. She's from Scotland. This is so cool. She sent me a map. Ooh, too close. Map postcard of Scotland. And she marked where she was born. And then over here is where she lives now. And that's kind of cool to just see that. And... I like the map. I like the map postcard. It's really cool. So, thank you. Thank you to all of you who sent me postcards. I have so many from different places now. It's getting exciting. I have enough to like start a collection. So that excites me. Did I just show an address? I don't think I did. I'll double check if I showed your address. I'm trying to remember how to say your name. Wakar? Wa Walker? Walker. Walker! Nah! I think that's right. Um, I don't think I showed your address. I just showed you pretty envelope. But yeah, I have my postcards. I'm saving the pretty envelope. Okay, so onward and forward to some happy mail. Let's start with Bernice. Bernice. Bernice sent me a postcard. She's from Holland and of course the tulips, which are one of my very favorite is flowers, so it's very cool. Um, sent me a postcard. For a second, I thought the cows were jumping, but they're not. They're standing still. Cute postcard with all the stuff from Holland. And then she sent me a packet, an envelope. There's no return address, right? An envelope of stuff. Of stuff. I'm so excited. I love some of this stuff she sent me. So I know it's in here already because I've looked at it. Not with you, which is sad. Um... Because you missed how excited I was at first. So she sent me some pieces of stationery. There's like a whole stack here. And they all have like a little something on the back. And then a bigger something on the front. And my favorite ones are these ones that look like old letters. 
there's that one and then there's this one they're all cool but I really really love these that look like old letters I am gonna have fun with those then she sent me in this cute little envelope she sent me these little little cards they're like little journaling cards and there's a whole stack of these too and they're in a different language <laughs> I don't know what language because I don't know what language you speak in Holland is it Dutch maybe Dutch in the Netherlands I'm not 100% sure because you know I have a public school education from the US actually I have a really hard time remembering things as you've noticed that I know that somebody did something but I won't remember who it was happens to me all the time I forget everything if I don't write a note I don't know have no idea that something was supposed to happen or that I was supposed to do something. If I don't write a note, forget it. It's bad. I don't remember things and I and I definitely don't remember. And I've had this problem since high school. History and geometry and not geometry, geography, those kind of things killed me. Because you had to remember like who did what, when and sometimes where and oh no. I got math and English like it was a rule and you just followed the same rule over and over and I could do that. But the other stuff, it messed with me. So memory is not, it's not a good thing for me. I have a terrible time memorizing lines, things like that. I can't do it. I, I, there should be like a pill I could take for memory. Um, you know, better than like, what is that, ginkgo biloba. But anyway, she sent me these cute journaling cards because now I've digressed. And they all have little sayings on them in maybe Dutch. And then she translated them all for me. Oh, into English. Bless you for that so I know what they say. This one cracks me up. It says, do not eat this because. Because it's not food? I don't know. Why would you not eat it? Because it's bad for you? It just kills me. I, that one cracks me up. But there's just so many. It's like, um, I'm not here. I went to, and then you fill it in. Journaling cards. Super fun. And the envelope is super cute that they came in. And then she sent me some adorable stationery. I have a whole stack of this too. There's a, many pages. This pretty little flower station. Look at that little butterfly in the corner. Oh, so cute. And then she sent me this stuff. I don't know what this is, but it's awesome. Um, it reminds me of like the string fibers in mulberry paper from my scrapbooking days. That's what it reminds me of. But it doesn't want to tear. Look, it's like. Ooh, ooh, I'm tearing it. I have been pulling in this corner because I have recorded this twice now. Uh, pulling on this corner, it's finally like tearing, coming apart. But this stuff is tough. So you can cut it and do some fun things with it. I am excited to play with this. And, oh, I love these. I love these, just so y'all know. Jelly print. I don't have a jelly plate, so I'm in awe of everybody else's jelly prints. Look at how cute this is. Look at that stencil. That's most awesome. I like it. A lot. Thank you so much. These handmade pa hand hand I'm mm, yeah hand painted papers make me so happy. To get to use somebody else's painting in my art like thrills me, thrills me. I think that's the coolest thing. Um, you're gonna have to wait for me to put these back in the envelope because I, I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose who sent what and did what. Who. Yeah, I'm putting the postcard with the postcard stack. I'm hoping that maybe it'll get to stay there this time. How nice would that be? Next, I'll show you what I got from Miss Kathy. Oh, dear heavens. Solophane bag stuck to the art she sent me. Thank heavens it came off cleanly. These things hate me. They hate me. I'm saving it because there's stamps on it. And I don't know, I might make a collection of stamps for my smash book. Who knows? But they hate me. I, don't, I had a hard time getting into it. I had to rip another one. They hate me. She sent me a cute little note, which I won't read you. And then she sent me the cutest envelope. Look at this. It looks like it's stuck again already. It looks like it was playing card stock at one time. That she feels like collage tissue paper or napkins with this pretty floral print and the words all over it and then on the back she talks about morning coffee and afternoon coffee and I just think it's so cute look she even made my name all cute just cute in general Kathy's just cute 
That's all there is to it. I've seen her picture. I know. It's, she's just cute. Her stuff is cute. I like it. And she sent me a print. This makes me really happy. Of her art. Look at that. Oh, and it says, Coffee is my friend. Coffee is my friend. So is Kathy. Coffee is my friend. And in a pink coffee cup. It doesn't get any better than this. It just doesn't. I actually looked for... I, I didn't measure this before I left. I, I probably shouldn't take the time to measure it now. I was figuring roughly 5x5, five 6x6. Five, six six. I looked for a frame. Oh, bless me. Hold on. Okay. Had a little bit of a sneezy attack. I had to stop and take a break for a second. Sorry about that. Anyways, I was looking for a square frame because it's, it's a print. So I think I might frame it and hang it in my studio on this wall behind me maybe. It's so cute. I don't know if I want to put it in a journal page because, I don't know. Looks like it's ready for a frame. So that might be what is going to happen if I can find a square frame. It ha it, I looked yesterday when I was shopping through all the little discount stores and I didn't find one, but she sent me, I wrote her name on it, so I know who sent it. Oh, and I was playing with my embossing thing, so I was showing my daughter. But she sent me an envelope. There's a There was a cute envelope where she wrote my name all cute, crazy out in the studios, but it's gone now. I saved the stamps from it, but the envelope is gone because it's been a few days. But she's put it on this little folder, which is kind of cool because now it's safely stored. And I almost had a heart attack when I saw this. Just so you know, so happy and so excited. And I wish you could see my first response because um, <laughs> she sent me the zebra tissue paper with all the colors on it. Do you see this? Oh, she! if you are in the Crazy Island Family Facebook page group, you would might have seen her page. I think it's in the Hannah Montana book, or journal page of this and then she made little flowers out of it and oh my gosh I almost died I need zebra flowers so she sent me some how sweet is that also if you were on there you might have seen her beautiful page with this incredible striped background and it turns out it's this incredible striped tissue paper and she sent me some of this too I'm so excited I'm so excited. I, now I'm going to have a beautiful striped background on one of my pages. Thank you. And then she sent me this tissue paper. I love tissue paper and napkins. If y'all haven't figured this out yet, they make me happy. And painted papers. Oof. But right now we're on tissue paper. So she sent me this one. Super cute. And then this one. And this one, like these feel slick and smooth. This one feels more thin, like, I don't know, lighter weight tissue paper. It reminds me of dress material, pattern, pattern paper, that's what I'm saying. Pattern paper, maybe the color and the feel of it, and then it's printed with music. So, super excited about that. Love all my tissue papers. So cute. I have hair on my face. Uh, and then, she sent me a cute little envelope full of pre-punched flowers in different colors and because she's awesome and knew that I would like it she sent me the negatives to them too should I show you should I pull these out this is so rude that I'm showing you in the bag huh rude I'm rude I don't mean to be I promise cute cute punched flowers and then the look the negatives from the punching of the flowers like, how cute are these? I will use them both because that's so fun. And if nothing else, I now have a flower stencil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't have a lot of stencils, you know you can use the negatives to punch out things to make stencils. So I'm going to have a ton of fun playing with all this stuff for Miss Kathy. Thank you very very much I'm afraid to put this back in here I gotta try and make sure it doesn't stick I'm just trying to save the stamps that's all thank you so much for thinking of me and putting that together next we have Yvonne Yvonne right I'm pretty certain I should double check before. yes from Yvonne she is new on the crazy island family and already sent me happy mail like I can't get it. that's really sweet mm, that's really really sweet so this is where she lives Delft I don't know if I'm saying that right 
but she sent me a postcard from where she lives. So cute. And she wrote me a note. I gotta find the note. But first, oh my gosh, she made me a card. A handmade card. Look at this with all this Hollandy stuff on it with the little Oh, the little milkmaid and the cow, which, oh my gosh, look, the cow even has pink lipstick. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. And tulips and cheese and the cute little shoes, the clogs, that's what they're called, right? Oh my gosh, adorable. I just, I love that the little cow and the girl lips match. It just, it just kills me. And then, back on the napkin theme, she sent me a Holland napkin. Look at the gorgeous florals on this. This is so pretty. And the windmills. I'm super excited to use that soon. Soon. And she sent me everything in this beautiful handmade envelope that covers the address. She decorated. I can't see from that side. Both sides. So pretty. And then, and then, okay. Oh, stink. I got to go grab the magnet. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. So this does go just to show you that I actually do like your stuff and I use it because she sent me this cute magnet with these works of art from Holland that are gorgeous and it was already on my refrigerator so I had to go get it so I could show it to you. And then she sent me a card and this is the girl in the pearl earring painting. It's beautiful. I, I know nothing about it, so it was really sweet that she sent me this card that tells me that the painter who painted the girl in the pearl earring is from the town she lives in. So that was kind of cool, and I don't know if I could say his name right, so I won't even try. And it is also, um, where she lives is Delft's Blue China, I guess it's famous China, so it's all from there. And I think it's so cute, she apologized to she had to let me know if I didn't already I appreciate it because like I said I don't remember things and I don't know a lot of things about places around the world I wish I did I'm not the type to study I'd have to go visit and then I'll remember everything that I hear and learn from there like I, I could tell you some stuff about Hawaii because I just took a trip there but I don't know so thank you for sending this to me and for sending me the information because I had no clue I had no clue and I wouldn't have known so I appreciate that because I can't know everything uh, and in in the magnet in the magnet the magnet came in this cute cute little bag look at these little look at these look at these little people kissing oh my gosh and in the back there's a moo cow there's just all kinds of cute stuff and so like the bag is now collage fodder too so that was really sweet. I really enjoy getting everything from you, Yvonne. I really, I, I can't get over your card. It's so stinking cute. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this separate. There we go. So there's nothing in there. Okay, so last but most definitely not least, I got some happy mail from Miss Pita, and she sent me a card in this cute little envelope. And look at this adorable card she made. Oh, even all of it's dimensional. This is all dimensional. It's so cool. And there's just so many fun things to touch. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So this pretty card. Um, Peter, just so you know, is Miss Lady Petals on, or Miss Lady Petal. Here you go. MissLadyPetal.com. Or on YouTube, she has her own YouTube channel that's Miss Lady Petal. I don't think I missed anybody else who has a YouTube channel. Um, if you have a YouTube channel and you want us to check it out, feel free to put a link to it because, you know, I'm not mean like that. I'll let you. I'll let you. So, okay. Also, that was set separate. I also got this gorgeous painted paper envelope. Oh, you should just feel this. It's amazing. It's a P.O. box, so I can show you the back. Oh, look at that. Just cramful. There was some additional um, washi tape that the post messed up, so it ended up in the trash because it was like half ripped off and wadded up already. <laughs> Sorry, PETA. Yeah, the Postal Service, they, get, they do their best, but there was also a big, huge, like, customs label right here. I managed to get it all off except for these 
two little bits. So I'll have to work on that or cover that section up. But the rest of it, if you can see, like how pretty, there's some cool stuff on this painted paper. Okay, inside, oh my gosh, inside, we just have to get started. Okay, are some strips of hand painted papers. Uh, I hate cutting paper strips. I really do. You have no idea how excited I am to get strips of paper. So they're hand painted on both sides. So then I have to pick. That's the hard part is having to pick when they're done on both sides. Also, oh my gosh, I'm dying over these. There's a just a big handful of these little squares that are cut out of whatever she made because they're already, I hope I don't know if you can see this, they're already layered and like collage. Like this is glued on, this is glued on, this is glued on. Like, eh, it's already collage, little bits with stuff glued all over them already. None of them are flat. They all are like, I don't know if you can tell that they're already collaged with little bits everywhere and then they're cut up and this just blows my mind. I'm so excited. I am already envisioning a journal page with a bunch of these cute little squares like running down the side and oh, I can't wait to make one. I can't wait to make one. Okay, what's next? Um, I don't know if you noticed on this envelope she put a stamp, but she also sent me another piece of paper with that stamp on it and I just love it, you know, because it really is all about the pretty little things. It really is. So now I have one that I can, you know, collage into my book. Another piece of hand painted paper scraps. I don't even care that they're scraps. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Look at that. It's so cute. Okay. And then, and hopefully these won't stick again because these stuck the first time. I'm hoping it was just shipping. This kills me. I love this. It's like grungy and dark and not the colors that I usually use, like, you know, I'm in a bright and everything, but this, I love it. I just love it. It's got a thing on the back too. And like nothing is single-sided here. It's going to be so difficult to decide which side to use on some of these. Oh, the sticking is much better. Some jelly prints that look like they're on some old paper that's been ripped out of a ledger or something. And look at that. Oh, so cute. And the back again with that ooh, with that flower stamp. I love this. I love it. Then this one is going to be so hard. I am in love with this. This got a little tiny bit messed up because it was stuck to something else over here, but I can glue it down and fix it. This side, I don't even know like which way. Okay. So super cute, right? And then the other side, it has this like half of a flower. How are you supposed to pick? How in the world am I supposed to pick? I might have to like washi tape this and just leave it how it is and stick it inside of a journal because it's so pretty. Um, another jelly print on, it feels like regular heavyweight copy paper, but it looks like it's been pulled out of a book. So maybe because it has holes back here from where it was sewn into a signature. So maybe a journal where I had to remove some of the pages. I got the page. Yay, all jelly printed and beautiful. And then I got this tissue paper, and I think the tissue paper had the roses on it already, and then she scribbled beauty all over it. It's just so cute. So stinking cute. I just want to die. Okay, I don't want to die, because then I wouldn't get to use all this stuff. And then this cute little craft paper with all these little stamped hearts. Oh, so cute. I have so much stuff. I don't know how I'm going to use it all, but I am so excited to use it all. I have already started out of my previous Happy Mail to use a few things that Kelly sent me. And I have plans, I'm sorry I'm squeaking. I have plans for the jelly prints that Gina sent me. So I got some stuff to use and I'm so excited about it. I don't know, there's not enough hours in the day. There is just not enough hours or days in the week to get everything done that I want to do. There's just not. So yeah. But I'm so excited. Thank you so much to all of you who sent me postcards. I appreciate that so, so much. I know I begged for them. Um, I really, really wanted postcards from all over the place. And I have them from many parts of the world right now, which is so 
incredibly exciting to me. I think it's so much fun. And to those of you who decided to send me happy mail, um, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I didn't ask for it, and I'm not begging for it, I promise you. I appreciate it very, very much, though. And I am going to send out a happy mail back, so... Um, Y'all should expect something if you sent me something. And I, I just, I thank you so, so very much, all of you who sent me a postcard or handmade anything. Um, super excited. You guys are the awesomest ever. Just so cool. I love you guys so much. Oh, I was going to show you guys these candies. I don't remember which one of you were talking about them. But, um... Aww. <laughs> Somebody was talking about their gin gins on one of their videos. And it was from Crazy Island Family because that's where I was. I pretty much only watch now is Crazy Island Family member videos. Gin gins. I'm in love with these candies. They're so good. They burn my mouth because they're hot ginger candies. Well, not hot, but you know, that ginger hot. And they're so good. Yummy. They're yummy. And um, I bought another brand too, but I don't see the bag here, which kind of makes me wonder who stole it. <laughs> Oh wait, here it is. I found another one. It was called Bear Food Ginger Candy. And it's the same like ingredients. It's made out of like ginger and sugar and tapioca starch. And that's it. So it's supposed to make your tummy feel good, which is nice. But whoever whoever liked the gingins, I mean, can you get over this little ginger guy? I want to cut him out and put him in a journal page. Like he's hilarious. Um Thank you for the tip because I love them. All right, so that's it. Is that it? That's it. That's all I got. I'm done. Not all I got. I got a lot, but that I'm I'm done. And hopefully I won't lose this footage before I can get it put up. Even though you have to look at me with my dirty hair and no makeup. But at least hopefully, hopefully it is done so that I can actually put this stuff into organizing again since I had to take it all back out and try and get some work done on this station instead of I am like if you saw my table you would laugh because it's covered with haul stuff and happy mail and there's just napkins everywhere <laughs> it's kind of a crazy hot mess but it's good I need to get it cleaned up and get to work though so that's what I'm going to do and I will see you guys all soon thanks so much for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss anything hit the thumbs up let me know if you like my videos I do appreciate that very much if you want to leave a comment if you have a question anything if you just want to say hi please do so down in the comments below I love communicating with you guys any other way that you might like to get in touch with me either for my workshops for my PO box my email my Facebook, all of those links will be down below. So I'll provide all that for you. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend and have a happy, happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Um, and I will see you all soon. Thanks. Bye.